Testing, building and theming are all happening at Legoland Windsor's new Mythica land and today over here on Theme Park Coasting we are going to show you all of what is going on with only a month to go till its opening. Ok let's start off with the construction and at the moment it is pretty much complete. There are still builders walking around but they are mainly cleaning up and spraying it all down. However with this done it means it is time for theming and already so much has been done and it looks amazing. Firstly, at the end we can see the portal which has three symbols for rides, Flight of the Skyline, Fire and Ice Freefall and Hydra's Challenge. In addition to this, I love how the bricks are blended into the entrance which creates an epic feel when you are walking through. In terms of the buildings, we can clearly see the ride building, however because we can't get into the hotels, I couldn't really get a lot of footage of it. However, I did manage to get footage of the Hungry Troll which is a re theme of the fish and chip shop, but it does look like they are going to continue providing fish and chips though as the statue outside is holding a pack of chips. In addition to this, there is also a character meet and greet area which I hope will have a special character for the Mythical Land and that would be so so cool. However, this is a place I thought the shop was going to be located so the question still remains at large, will there be a shop in the land? And if there is not a shop it will be an absolute shame but it could be near the flying theatre but as soon as we do find out we'll make sure to tell you. Before we do get onto the testing though there is still one more part of the theming which I want to show you and that is the models. The first one we can clearly see underneath the arch and this is great and I remember when we watched the teaser video for this being made and now it's here I think it is in a great location to welcome guests into the new mythical land. Also there is a troll which we can clearly see in front of a restaurant, the sea serpent which we can just about see through the trees as well as the one that I think is behind the play area, but I'm not 100% sure. There you go guys, there is all the new construction done, but there's obviously others like Flying Theatre, Dragon, as well as lots more. So if you do want to see it, make sure to check out our other update videos. However, now is the time which you've all been waiting for when I show you one of the first ever tests on the new drop tower. Here we go. Now I do have to apologise for the shakiness of the camera, but I had to run all the way from Lego City to get this footage, but it was worth it as the ride does look great. It is a replica of the one over at Snow Springs which is Portons Park's new land and I can tell you that this is so fun, it is unreal. With the theming of Mythica as well, I think this ride will definitely be one of my favourites at the park and looking at this footage it does look quite intense. It wasn't just testing we got to see though, as it also broke down which gave us a perfect opportunity to look at and get some great shots of this ride. So looking into it at closer detail, I really do love the fire pit, not only on the pole but also on the car as I really feel like it fits in with the surrounding area. The restraints also looks great as it feels like it's going to give you a lot of air time so all of that is a big thumbs up towards the new ride. However, I do believe they should have made one tower ice and one tower fire as that would have made me not only want to do them both but also make it look a lot nicer than having two identical towers next to each other. Quickly, before we do move on, if you are someone who's worried about doing this ride, the way I look at it is it's like a bigger scout bouncer, there are bigger seats, bigger restraints and a lot more air time, so for me it's absolutely amazing and I definitely recommend giving it a go. All of this so to do with the two different towers, the theming as well as the intensity of the ride is all my opinion, so if you do have a different opinion I would love to hear it and I'm sure many of you would as well, so make sure to comment down below. However, unfortunately, it is the end of our construction video today. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below as there will be way more of these coming out, including the opening day on the 29th of May. If you want to be a huge supporter, though, make sure to check out our Patreon pages. For it was £1 a month, you can get up to two-day early access to this video. But my name is Tom Derek from Theme Park Coasting, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.